This lesson is about translation of verbal phrases to mathematical phrases and vice versa. The chart below shows some of the words used to indicate the mathematical operations. For example, if the given operation is about addition, well, this will be some of the mathematical phrases that you may encounter. The sum or total of plus, added to, more than, increased by. Now let us use some of those. Let's translate the verbal phrase into mathematical phrase. For number one, the sum of A and B. Since the word is the sum, it means addition. The sum of A and B. Another, 5 plus Y. 5 plus y. Another, a number increased by 10. However, in here, it doesn't use or it doesn't indicate what number is it, which means we can use other variables. Say, for example, let us use c. A number c increased by 10. Now, what if the given operation is about subtraction. Well, these are some of the mathematical praise that we may encounter. Decreased by, subtracted from, less than, minus, and the difference of. Well, let us try to use some of this. Translate the verbal praise into mathematical praise. Or number four. Y minus 4 can be written as this. Another. 5 subtracted from X. As you observe, it is 5 being subtracted from what? From X. Which means we will subtract 5 from X. Next, the difference of B and 3. So, the difference is used in the operation subtraction, which means B minus 3. Next, these are some of the mathematical praise if the given is multiplication. The product of multiplied by and then the times. So let us try to use some of this. For number 7, the product of x and y. The product of x and y is as simple as x times y. Another, 8 times y. 8y. Next. Trice the sum of A and B. Trice means three times. Three times of what? Three times of the sum of A and B. So as you observe in here, it is not just multiplication. Because there is also addition in here. Next, if the given operation is division, well, these are some of the mathematical praise that we may encounter. The quotient of divided by the ratio of. So let us try to use some of this. For number 10, n divided by 4. n divided by 4. Well, this can also be written as n over 4. Another, the quotient of k and 8. The quotient of k and 8, which, which can also be written as k over 8. Another, the ratio of 
5 times the number y and 3, which means the ratio of 5 times a number y and 3 or 5y over g. So let us try to add some more. How about this? The square of m. Well, we can write this as m squared. Square means the power or the exponent is 2. Another, 1 third of y. 1 third is a fraction. So 1 third of what? Of y. And for the last one, tries a number d decreased by 4. Now what does it mean? Tries of a number. Of what number? Of a number d decreased by decreased by 4. And that's it. I hope you learned. Thank you.